Ionic bonds are formed when electrons are transferred from one atom to another. For example, one electron can move from the sodium atom to the chlorine atom. After the electron is transferred, each original atom has changed its charge and is now called an ion. The sodium ion, having lost an electron, now has a positive one charge. The chloride ion, having gained an electron, now has a negative one charge. The transfer of electrons that formed the sodium and chloride ions gives them opposite charges. The attraction between the opposite charges of the sodium and chloride ions is called an ionic bond. Table salt, sodium chloride, is an example of an ionic compound formed by the attraction between sodium and chloride ions. Ionic bonds are weak and will break easily in water. This is why salts dissolve in water. Since living systems are filled with watery solutions, the weak ionic bonds are uncommon in the body. Ions are extremely important for maintaining homeostasis. The charges on ions make them very useful. For example, movement of sodium ions through a nerve cell membrane enables nerve impulses to be generated. The acidity of body fluids is regulated in part by the bonding of hydrogen ions with different types of negatively charged ions. Bone gets its hardness and strength from the reaction of calcium, phosphate, and carbonate ions. Covalent bonds are created when two atoms share electrons in the outermost orbital. The oxygen molecule is formed by the sharing of electrons between two oxygen atoms. Both of the original oxygen atoms share the electrons. Covalent bonds are strong bonds. Almost all the compounds in cells are held together by covalent bonds. These include water, oxygen and carbon dioxide gases, lipids, carbohydrates, proteins, nucleic acids, and ATP. When electrons are shared within a molecule, they are not always uniformly distributed. A water molecule has eight outer electrons contributed by its hydrogen and oxygen atoms. The electrons are quite strongly attracted by the oxygen part of the molecule. This results in the oxygen end of the molecule having a slight negative charge, while the hydrogens have a slight positive charge. These partial charges are indicated by the Greek letter delta. The partial charges on these water molecules will have an effect on how these molecules line up with one another in solution. The hydrogen end of one molecule will be attracted to the oxygen end of an adjacent water molecule. The weak attractive forces that determine the orientation of these molecules are called hydrogen bonds. Hydrogen bonds are susceptible to breakage when there are changes in temperature or hydrogen ion concentration. Hydrogen bonds are found in other covalent compounds. Part of the structure of a protein molecule is maintained by hydrogen bonds between adjacent sections of that molecule. The double helix of DNA is also stabilized by hydrogen bonds. 